If you're hit by a car and survive, it could partially be due to the work of the Adelaide Impact Laboratory in testing and improving car design. We're called the Vehicle Testing Laboratory. Um, we're part of the University of Adelaide, uh, and part of the Centre for Automotive Safety Research. And at the laboratory, we test um, vehicles to see how safe they are for pedestrians. Um, we do pedestrian reconstructions and tests on new cars uh, for the new car, uh, Australasian new car assessment program. It's, we're the only testing facility like this in Australia. There are only a few of these sort of testing facilities in the world. There's, I think there's six in uh, Europe and, um, and I think all of the manufacturers in Japan have one because there's a regulation there. <laughs> Currently there's no regulation for pedestrian protection in Australia. In some cases um, our testing can influence the, the design of a vehicle. Um, in Japan and in Europe, there are uh, the minimum levels of safety for pedestrian protection. And there are some cases where vehicles have come over from Japan or Europe to Australia. By doing this, these tests, we encourage the manufacturers to include the protection levels that they have on uh, cars in Japan and Europe. In some cases, these uh, measures are removed for the Australian market and the American market. Um, but by doing these tests, um, it encourages them to, to keep those uh, design. Sponsored by the National Testing Body, the lab this year moved from a Keswick bus depot to a new facility in Kent Town. The um, manufacturers did enjoy going to the other facility. The testing we do is uh, very high quality and you know, people with million dollar machines, uh, but our machines are uh, much cheaper. Now we've, now we've got a, uh, a facility that's sort of more up to scratch with the testing we do. The lab tests using head and leg replicas. Today I'm going to show you a child uh, impact test. The test is going to be carried out at 40 kilometres an hour. Uh, we're going to hit, hit the bonnet um, with a th three and a half kilogram child head form. So this sort of test will sort of simulate uh, child head impact on the bonnet. We measure the acceleration of the head form and we put it through a formula that gives us a head injury criterion which is an indication of the head injury that the child might receive. Earlier this year a move to introduce a minimum pedestrian safety standard for car design in Australia was stopped by lobbying from the automotive industry. The regulatory impact statement was retracted before uh, before the, comp before the finals comments date. So uh, that was under uh, pressure from um, uh, particular automotive industries, uh, particularly um, bull bars. The bull bar industry was concerned that um, by, having this, um, by having this regulation that the, that the bull bar industry would um, be in decline. But the Impact Lab says introducing a safety standard would save lives. Oh, definitely. I mean, it's, uh, it's one of those things we should have.